also everyone, this is the aerodynamics of a Pokeball. And we have some streamlines going through. So the Pokeball as we rotate it, you can see the streamlines coming from upstream, hitting the Pokeball and going downstream. And as we rotate around, you can see a really cool, some really cool flow features at the back. So just here, there's on the bottom, there's a roll up this way, then another roll up the other way, and the same thing on the other side. And that seems to come from the central cutout section where all these streamlines seem to really, really be channeling through and then they come out and then they roll up from there. And this is a video of the aerodynamics of a Pokeball, not what Pokeball you should use for whatever Pokemon, like for example, if you're trying to catch a, a Venusaur. This is a regular Pokeball. You know, I don't recommend using a regular Pokeball just for a Venusaur. You need something better like a Great Ball or a Master Ball or whatever. So this is just aerodynamics. And now we have the U magnitude, so left to right, and it's in the blue to red up to 40 meters per second, and it's going through the Pokeball. And the, the wake is not too bad, like it's fairly triangular, and it's somewhat large, but considering this is a, a, a sphere, it's not too bad. So make sure to check out everything we do here for aerodynamics, check out the conference we put on, check out the instrumentation we do, and check out the courses we've got to make a better analysis. Peace out.